There are two futures for Final Cut Pro. One is obvious and the other is a bit cloudy. This video was inspired by Matthew O'Brien. He did a great video about his thoughts of the future of Final Cut Pro. And it really got me thinking, where does Final Cut Pro go from here? And I feel that with the release of the Silicon Mac Pro, Apple will release a new updated version of Final Cut Pro. But when they do, what will it look like and where will they take it in the coming years? So there are two scenarios. Future number one, continued development as is and further integration with the Apple ecosystem. So this would mean enhanced performance and more optimization. Apple will continually optimize Final Cut Pro to take advantage of their new chips and GPUs. And this will undoubtedly lead to improved performance, faster rendering times, and smoother real-time playback for higher and higher resolutions. And this is where I think Apple will shine in the coming years, where they could leverage AI and machine learning technologies to develop smart editing features, such as automated color grading. Now, imagine grabbing a still from your favorite film and having AI color grade your video instantly across the entire project, along with AI noise reduction or auto exposure, object tracking, rotoscoping and object isolation, background removal, object removal, AI audio mixing of dialogue, sound effects, and music. Apple could buy any number of the AI companies like Runway ML to make the editing process more efficient and accessible to a wider range of users. And we know it's all coming, but Apple will build on its existing support for AR and VR content creation by introducing new tools and features to help users create more immersive experiences. And something that is sorely missing from Final Cut is improved collaboration capabilities. If Final Cut could open the door to be able to collaborate with other editors working on the same project simultaneously and to be able to make sync changes in real time, and I feel that they would have a real winner with Final Cut Pro. But Apple does need to better integrate it with other services like iCloud to promote collaboration. And this will allow users to easily access, incorporate their media files into projects and streamline the whole editing process. Scenario two, the transition to a cloud-based service. Did you think that in scenario two, I was just gonna say that Apple was going to kill Final Cut Pro? Apple knows that the vast majority of their users want a video editor. Now more than ever with the exponential need for content. Even your grandma will be making content soon. Think about it, editing in the cloud. Final Cut Pro would become accessible on a variety of devices, including Windows and even Android. Imagine being able to work on your project from any device with internet access, giving you incredible flexibility, especially with the internet speeds as fast as they are now and getting even faster, compression formats making files smaller and better quality, allowing for proxies to be made in the cloud almost instantly to speed up the workflows. And once you're done your edit, export using essentially a render farm in the cloud and you just download the final product. It really does open up the door to a host of possibilities. A cloud-based Final Cut Pro would also enable real-time collaboration among team members, allowing editors to work seamlessly regardless of their location. This would solve Final Cut Pro's biggest weakness. Multiple editors can work on one timeline, very similar to the way Google Docs writing does, but with video. With cloud-based processing, users could potentially access more powerful computing resources on demand enabling faster rendering and processing of video projects, regardless of their local hardware capabilities. Apple could position themselves to sell even more entry-level hardware to consumers that may have never considered it before. A cloud-based editing service makes business sense for Apple, such as subscription-based or pay-as-you-go options. This opens up the door for Final Cut Pro to be integrated with other cloud-based services, such as asset libraries, stock footage, and music platforms, making it easier for users to integrate external resources into their projects. Both of these scenarios have their pros and cons. Apple's decision will ultimately depend on its long-term strategy and the evolving needs of their users in the video editing market. Will Final Cut remain pro or will Apple lean more into consumer content creation? What do you think the future of Final Cut Pro holds? Where do you think Apple will go? Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching.